you're never, never alone. Um, I give out to God every day and I say, you know, why can't more people, you know, see, see angels, you know? Um, and I really don't know why, because he never answers me. Um, but I can reassure you, and it, and it is faith, you know, that you have a guardian angel. And I see that light behind every single person, um, regardless of their nationality or their religion, you know, or whether you don't believe or not. I'm afraid you have a guardian angel and, and you have a soul. And to me, I think that's wonderful. Even if you don't believe yourself, I think it's wonderful. For the angels to help you, you've got to get up and you've got to go out. You've, you've got to start to live life. Mm. You can't, if I stayed sitting in this chair, you know, I would be doing nothing. They want you to get up and start to live so that they can guide you mm. and help you. It's like even going for a job. You know, they're encouraging people not to give up in going for a job just because you've been turned down a few times. And I know they give people ideas all of the time of, of different ways to help to get them out of situations that they're in now. I, I would give out, I would give out to God and the angels because I do know things of my own children. And I just say to God, that's not fair. Um, but I would never tell them what, they, what those things are. You're part of God, that's what your soul is. That's what's in, in God's image is your soul, it's not your human body. And that's what makes you unique as well. You know, so no, I know it's a figure of speech, a mother or, you know, or an aunt or an uncle will turn around and say, you know, they lost their loved one, they'll say they're an angel in heaven. That, that's a figure of speech. They're, they're a soul, they're more than an angel. Um, a young child, Usually young children have no hesitation um, if an angel says to them, pull that little daisy and run over to the lady down the back there and give her the flower. A child will actually just go and do that. And it's like for ourselves, we should start to respond a bit more. You know, there could have been someone you knew 20 years ago and all of a sudden their name keeps coming into your head you know, I would say to you, well, why don't you pick up the phone if you still have their number or if you have their address, send them, you know, a little card. You don't have to ask them into your home. You don't have to, you know, have a meal with them or anything like that. Um, because you have to remember that person could have asked, could have said, you know, they could be down, so down, so low in themselves. They could even be thinking of committing suicide. And they asked, ask their angel, you know, for this sign that, that Betty gives me a call or Betty sends me a letter. And they've been asking for the last year and they feel, you know, I might as well give up. You know, they have lost faith and lost belief. Um, and just that it's something for you, but that you're their lifeline.